All right, so to solve this one, we want to factor it. And then we want to set each factor equal to zero. So we want to set each, we want to factor it, then set each factor equal to zero. So <coughs> normally I just look for factors of seven or the last number that add up to the middle number. But this time I have a number in front, right? So I have to take the five and times it by the seven, A times C. So that's going to be 35. Then I need to find factors of 35 that add up to negative 3. And there are none. Okay, so we can't do it this way. So, next thing we could do is to see if we could do it. We can't even do this one by graphing because it's going to end up being an imaginary number. Because when I look at my discriminant, that b squared minus 4ac, I'm going to get 9 minus 4 times 5 times 7. And this is a lot bigger than 9, right? So it's going to be, end up being a negative number. So if my discriminant's negative, I'm going to end up with two imaginary answers. So the only way I can do, go that is if I do the, how do I do it? How do I solve it? Very good. Good job, guys. Quadratic formula. Well done. This quadratic formula is what? A. So 2A. If you don't know that formula, you're not going to do it you know, very well at the end of the year here, but you're going to have a lot of trouble next year. A lot of trouble in Math 3. You need to have that formula in your arsenal. Okay, so now where's A, B, and C at? Do you have my calculator from yesterday? In the front office? Okay, thank you. So this would be A, this would be B, and this would be C. Hello. So, the formula says the opposite of B. What's the opposite of B? So it would be positive 3, because b is a negative 3, so the opposite of negative 3 would be positive 3, plus and minus the square root of, so what's b squared? So negative 3 times negative 3 would be a positive 9. And then we got to do that minus 4 times a times C and all over 2 times A. What? It's just wind. A lot of wind. Okay, so now I just got to simplify everything, right? So x is going to equal 3 plus and minus the square root of, calculator time, 9 minus 4 times 5 times 7, negative 131. So negative 131 all over 10. So what do I do about simplifying that negative, the square root of negative 131? Yes? This 5 down here? Yeah. Because my formula says 2 times A. So 5 is A. Thank you. Good question.
Okay, I cannot have a negative square root, right? What do I do with that? Yeah, remember, so it's going to be x equals 3 plus and minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 131 over 10. And the square root of negative 1 is what? What's the square root of negative 131 or negative 1? No, you need to know this, people. Square root of negative 1. 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 Maybe if I yell at you, you get it. None. I. I. Good job, Ryan. I. Root 131 over 10. And that's our two answers. Any other questions? None? Okay, so then let's try this one because like half your test is on these type of problems. So let's try this and see how ready you are. <coughs> Whoopsie daisy, what am I doing? I want that icon. Oh, clock's still running. 